Good morning and welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. We'd like to welcome our brothers and sisters joining us online through our various social media platforms. We gather together in the presence of the Lord. Let us present everything that we are. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. As we celebrate this Eucharist, let us acknowledge our failures and ask God for pardon. You were sent to heal the contrary of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came you came to call sinners. Christ, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are sitting at the right hand of the Father to serve for us. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace. On earth peace to people who love good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. For you Impart to your servants, we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that the feast of the nativity of the Blessed Virgin may bring deeper peace to those who hold the birth of her son, was dawning of salvation through Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified, and those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. With, With delight, delight I, rejoice I rejoice in the, in the Lord. Lord. Though I trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. 
With, with delight, delight I, I rejoice in, in the Lord. Lord. Let me sing of the Lord. He has been good to me. With, with delight, delight I rejoice, rejoice in, in the Lord. Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with a child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet, Behold, the virgin shall be with a child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Today we have the feast day of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And as we celebrate the birth of our mother, we celebrate how she was always willing to answer the God's call. She always willing to be there. Even though she was confused sometimes, so she was not sure, she was not sure how will we work but she trusts in God. Always we remember the Virgin Mary as the Theotokos, the mother of God. She was always being an instrument to God. And one of the things we need to remember about Mary is that always she was willing to work with God. And the same thing is for us to ask ourselves, are we willing to work with God? Are we willing to be with Him all the time? And I know sometimes we have doubts. I know sometimes we don't know how it's going to work. But with trusting in God, we know that God will provide for everything. And as at the first reading said, at the beginning of the first reading, we know that all things work for good for those who love God. And we need to remember that. We know that all things work for good. The same thing, Mary was always looking at how we answer to God with yes. And that's the things that we need to remember in our lives. Sometimes we don't know everything, how it's going to work. But always we know that God was work for good for we trust in God. And God will provide and will put everything for us. And as we celebrate the nativity of the Virgin Mary, we celebrate our own humanity. We celebrate that God works through us. We are instruments, each one of us, in everything we do, in our home, in our work, whatever place we are, God is still working. 
and it's, it's working for the salvation of others. It's working that the salvation of our souls. And it's through God and through our intercession of our mother, we know that we are not alone. We know that we are not to be afraid, like the angel said to Joseph, don't be afraid. And it's something very important for us to remember how Mary was not afraid because God, it was with her. And she is with us. And she always will be protected as a, as a mother. And as we walk in, in these times, we walk in and out in everything that has happened to us, we need to trust as, a, as our mother. As we celebrate an activity of our Virgin Mary, we celebrate our own humanity, we celebrate our own birth, that we are called to be safe, that we are called to bring others peace, consolation, we are going to bring the salvation as Jesus Christ. And through our mother, we remember there is there all the time to protect us. Let us bring our needs before our God, whose will it is shall all humanity shall be safe. For peace in the world. May God's love and justice guide those in power and authority. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those who have participated in the special candle program in honor of St. Peter Claver and for their special intentions, that Christ may hear and answer them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially those infected by the coronavirus, may they rest in the eternal peace of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the intention, special intentions we hold in the silence of our heart, especially for the intention of Tai Wa Lao Chong, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God of mercy and love, as we celebrate today the feast of the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring these prayers to you, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus. Et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesu. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora, Mortis nostre. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the humanity of your beloved begotten Son come, O Lord, to our aid. And may he who is his birth from the Blessed Virgin did not diminish but consecrate her integrity by taking from us now our wicked deeds. May our blessing accept to you, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It's truly right and just our duty in our salvation to praise you, mighty deeds, and exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memorial of His Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the earth ends, you have done great things, and extend your abundant mercy from age to age. 
when you look on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, a host of angels adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in the choir's exalted praise as we acclaim. Made holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down the Spirit upon the light of all, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entering willing, willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, and saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave it thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the child of salvation. Give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, who is our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have preached throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As the Savior command, informed by divine teaching, we are to say, it. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, 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 and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive all those who trespass, trespass against, against, us, against us. And lead us, us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Gracious to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but in the faith of the church, and gracious to grant her peace and unity, accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Lamb of God, you tickle the 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the, the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are really here in the blessed sacrament. I love you more than anything in the world, and I hunger to receive you. But since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself to you now as I do when I actually receive you. Amen. Magnificat, magnificat, anima mea domino, magnificat, magnificat, anima mea domino. I sing with all my heart, my spirit leaps for joy. Who am I that you should honor me? By your saving grace, all will call me blessed and proclaim the greatness of your name. Magnificat, magnificat, Let us pray. May your church exalt, Lord, for you have renewed her, renewed her with these sacred mysteries, as she rejoices in the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which has the hope in the daybreak of salvation for all the world, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us continue prayer for all the people who are suffering from this pandemic, for the people who are sick, for the people who are caring for them and for each one of us that, that help us to go through all these difficult times. Let us pray to our mother, Santa, Holy Virgin, Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Guadalupe Queen, Queen of the, of the Angels, Angels and Mother, Mother of the Americas, Americas. we fly we to you today as, as your beloved, beloved children. children. We, we ask you to intercede for us with your, with your son, son, as, as you, you did, did at the wedding, wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving, loving mother, mother, and gain, gain for our nation and our world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, angels that, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, afflicted we, ask we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the, the cries of those who are vulnerable and are fearful. Wipe, wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, Teach, Teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother. Help us the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Before the final blessing, I want to ask you that today, as we celebrate the Nativity of the Virgin Mary, let us pray for all the children 
that are, are born today or have, or have been born this month, and especially for the new moms, you know? Let us pray that always protect them and always help, help them, because it's, uh, it's a big job and for all the mothers, but especially for the, the ones who are new mothers, and uh, the God always bless them and help them in everything. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Almighty God bless you and the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go in peace to celebrate our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, Et res nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules filii eve. A te suspiramos, gementes et flentes, in hoc lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, Advocata nostra, illus tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Iesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium, Ostende, o oh, clement, o oh, oh, pia, o oh, 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 dulcis, virgoma.